got some. Coffee. Caffeine. That glorious drug that increases your mental alertness, wakefulness, and can almost make you a tolerable human being before 8 a.m. As the essential morning beverage, coffee delivers the largest dose of the world's most widely taken legal drug. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the most energizing facts about caffeine, the tea and coffee drinking world's favorite drug of choice. Socrates. No caffeine. It makes him irritable. Number five. Caffeine consumption in North America is over a thousand years old. <laughs> hey, look, I found coffee. <laughs> okay, let's get addle. Please, I'm not going to drink somebody's old coffee. Okay, your highness. <laughs> yep, caffeine is not only a popular drug, but a very old one as well. Archaeologists have discovered beakers located in Cahokia, a site in the central United States that have been linked to the historic black drink. Kind of sounds like coffee, doesn't it? Black drink is a liquid made from Ilex vomitoria and Ilex casein, two different types of holly that have generous amounts of caffeine and theobromine, a compound also found in cocoa. These beakers have been dated to roughly 1050 AD, almost 500 years before the Europeans made contact and introduced the coffee bean. There were pirates who attacked the ship and he had to protect his coffee plant against the pirates. There was a big storm. But finally, he brings his coffee plant over, he plants it in Martinique, it thrives, and from that single plant, uh, most of the coffee that's now grown in the entirety of Latin America probably descends from that one plant. Number four, worker bees are just like office workers. Wanna go to Tchotchkes, get some coffee? Oh, it's a little early. I, mean, I gotta get out of here, I think I'm gonna lose it. Uh-oh, sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Are you like so many office-dwelling individuals who need regular caffeine injections to prevent you from giving your monitor the thousand-mile stare all day long? Turns out, bees are the same. Just without the monitor part. The nectar of many flowers, including citrus blossoms, contains small amounts of caffeine. Using actual side-by-side -side taste tests, scientists have determined that bees prefer the caffeinated nectar to the non-caffeinated nectar. So, scientists believe that these plants develop the ability to produce caffeine in order to attract bees to them and have also observed that caffeine improves bees' memory. Do you prefer your caffeine with a dose of nicotine on the side? Well, bees do as well. The nectar in question contains nicotine as well as caffeine. Coffee and cigarettes are best when shared with you. We'll go to Waffle House or your mom's house and share a cup or two. Number three, high caffeine intake doubles the risk of miscarriage. I'm pregnant. Uh, off. What? What? I'm pregnant? With? The motion? With a baby. You're the father. For any pregnant or hoping to be pregnant women watching this, doctors say you should stay away from caffeine. It won't turn out well for you or your baby. Is it me or was that the ugliest baby you have ever seen? Studies have shown that women who consume 200 milligrams or more of caffeine per day, the equivalent of just two cups of coffee, doubled the risk of miscarriage. The researchers believe this is because caffeine travels through the placenta to the fetus, but due to the baby's underdeveloped metabolism, it's not able to process the chemical. Other studies have shown that caffeine consumption during pregnancy is linked to low birth weight. 40% of the time, these babies are just normal, small babies. There has to be someone at the end of that curve. Number two, caffeine helps protect against various diseases. And you look like you could use some coffee. <sighs> yes. Coffee's good. For those of us who are not pregnant, drink up. Because not only will caffeine give you the boost you're jonesing for, but it can also help protect you against many diseases. Scientists have recently discovered that caffeine has a preventative effect against heart disease and Alzheimer's disease. Caffeine-containing foods like chocolate and coffee have long been seen as healthy dietary staples due to their antioxidants. But research now suggests that the antioxidant properties are actually coming largely from the caffeine within them. I'm gonna need a cup of coffee. Number one, caffeine is like a hard drug in more ways than one. I would realize all the trips I was making to the coffee shop every day, two times a day, and I hated it. I don't like having an addiction to something. Caffeine can be both helpful and detrimental, but we don't often think of caffeine in the same way as hard drugs or pharmaceuticals. It's an apt comparison though. 
For one thing, caffeine is extremely addictive, and experts say it only takes 100 milligrams, roughly one cup of coffee, for it to sink its hooks into you and begin the addiction. This is some serious gourmet shit. Even at that low level of regular consumption, withdrawal symptoms can occur, such as the famous caffeine headache, fatigue, and being a total asshat to everyone in your office. I'm also gonna need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too. And like any hard drug, it's even possible to overdose on the stuff. 18-year-old Logan Steiner died a week before his high school graduation from an overdose of caffeine. If you consume a very large amount of caffeine at once, you can be treated to convulsions, hallucinations, vomiting, and yes, even death at absurd amounts. But in theory, you'd need to chug about 125 double espressos to get there. Challenge accepted. <laughs> So using caffeine is probably still a lot better than using, like, amphetamines or something. How about uh, uppers, amphetamines? No, I'm not interested in that stuff. Crystal meth, I can get you crystal meth. Nitrous oxide. How about that? So, caffeine, friend or foe? I ordered coffee, right? Now, we've been here a long time. She's only filled my cup three times. I mean, when I order coffee, I want to fill it six times. What's the most caffeinated you've ever been? For more addictive top 10 and migraine-inducing top fives published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. He passed away and his remains were in the f***ing Get him the f*** out. <laughs> the beard, the dog, get him out.